so we have here is the Tech Sport trench shovel. It folds up like this. And I picked this up at the local Army Navy supply store. How you work it is you just tighten this ring and it secures the shovel. And let's see if it works. Oh my god. Digging. Sorry guys. So as you can see, it does work. Another you can, thing you can do with it is if you fold it like this, you have yourself somewhat of a pickaxe to break up the ground, which worked pretty good. Now this is soft dirt, so I wouldn't really expect this to fail, but that's one thing. It, just to show you that it can in fact dig. I did, uh, was working on some harder dirt earlier, and uh, I went like this, and I kind of pried it out, and it actually bent. Let me see if you can... This lip right here is not completely welded on and actually bent this lip and the thing kind of bent back. I just gave a few pats and bent it back. So it's not really meant for prying but for simple digging like this it works just fine. It comes with these uh, edges here that are serrated but they're kind of a joke. As you can see they're not very sharp at all. So one of the things people like to use these axes or these uh, shovels for is like an all-purpose tool and we want to see if it can in fact do that. I don't think it can, but the saw in action, you're not going to get anywhere. This is just me taking off the bark, but some people do use it as like a hatchet and let's see how well that works. Okay, well that didn't work. This is pretty soft wood and I can tell you right now you we're not gonna get anywhere with this. Right off the edges, right off the uh the package, the edges did not come sharp. So I guess if I would sharpen it, maybe we have a better test, but as it is in the package, this is the results. Zero cutting. Some people use it to split wood. Let's see if we can do that. Let me see if I can get some frame. Okay. Let's see if we can split wood with it. I don't think we can. But, we'll see. So what they do is, I can get the notch in there. Yeah. I don't know if you can see, but actually, uh, just bent the shovel doing that. You can kind of see it. The shovel is now bent. So I think it's safe to say that we're, we're not going to do that unless we can bend it back a little bit. So, that's twice that we bent the shovel. Once you didn't see it, that was on me. Uh, and then just doing this stuff, uh, these blades, this shovel, even if the edges were sharp, the shovel of uh, piece right here can't take it. It just bent. I just kind of bent it back which if you do it too much the metal is going to fatigue and 
this thing will probably just snap off. Okay, the ground I showed earlier was kind of already broken and it was pretty easy digging. This ground's a little bit more compact with some rocks in it. Got some roots in it too. I think I just bent it again. Basically any sort of prine seems to bend this, which if you're gonna, yeah, I just bent it again. But that's, if you're digging, you can't not pry. So, I don't understand that. This is actually pretty good because there's a bunch of rocks and uh, tree roots in here. This was, again, Tech Sports. It was about, oh, $11 shovel, $10 shovel. And, okay, maybe gives you an idea. So, just by demonstrating, just by digging, I bend it twice. These washers are well, I think they're supposed to be like that. So by digging, I bent the shovel three times. By chopping, we bent the shovel again. So obviously, these are just gimmicks. Um, can't do it, otherwise you break the shovel. Because it's just bending which way and that way. Uh, Digging-wise, even that you have to be careful with because it bends again. So any sort of prime, you can't really do. Um, the sh shaft's really strong, I guess that's a strong point, <laughs> but maybe if you want something to actually work with and take some abuse, maybe get something with something a little bit nicer than this, uh, I can honestly say I'm not very impressed with this, but I guess you get what you pay for, it was like 10 bucks.